looks. Obviously important. <laughs> Yeah, always being. <laughs> no, no. When we first started as a band in Los Angeles, uh, even before our first record, uh, other Los Angeles bands gave kind of no importance at all to, to the visual aspect of appearing live. And it was always baffling to us because, because we were always uh, enamored of, of British bands in particular, the ones that were really flashy and were the stage presence and, and appearance. And we've always felt that, uh, that, that it isn't kind of diminishing your music to make the looks uh, a part of, of what you're doing, that, that it's, all, it's all one thing. It's you employed her just in formal fashion, still you bore her. Because you ain't got a nose that's straight, a set of perfect teeth. You got a built-in seat that makes you look your feet. You know the looks, 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 the world you rely on books. At play. Um, it's a spacey sort of feeling where each time you go on stage, at least for me, uh, you kind of say, why am I subjecting myself to putting myself out there in front of a lot of people and then I'm nervous and afraid and have anxieties and what's the intrigue? Why would anybody put themselves through that experience? And then you go on stage and everybody is loving you and then you understand why you subjected yourself to all that anxiety that everyone who hasn't tried going on a stage should go on a stage sometime if given the chance. Uh, I highly recommend it. Sons of Sparks. Um, Sons of Sparks. Yeah. Obviously the FFS project. Well, we, we had read in a, uh, one of the British newspapers that uh, they were fans of Sparks. So anytime that happens, we immediately go to see that band play. Or, you know, so we met them at, the, at a hotel and just, you know, just chatted. And so at the end of it was the obligatory line that every band says to another band, oh, we should work with you again someday. And, you know, usually you don't think that that's going to happen. Collaborations don't work. They don't work. They don't work. Collaborations don't work. They don't work. They don't work. Collaborations don't work. They don't work. They don't work. I'm going to do it all by myself. Uh, 6,000 miles away, we decided to try a song, and then one song led to more songs, and it became, without kind of uh, establishing it, we, it became an album, and then after that, it was like, well, maybe we should do a tour together. But it was, it was a really special thing, because it was, we weren't keeping our separate identities in the band, it really was temporarily at least forming a new band called FFS. It wasn't just Franz Ferdinand and, and Sparks. Collaborations don't work a poem or a comma and a drone a drama bring in the Dalai Lama Ingmar Bergman or Leos Carax. Ah. Um, well one thing is that we know we won't ever be working with Ingmar Bergman Despite the fact Why that, is that? Uh, uh, we've become uh, uh, friends with Leos Carax now as a result of him uh, having used one of Sparks' songs, a song called uh, How You Getting Home in his last movie called Holy Motors. <laughs> met him at the Cannes Festival uh, about five years ago. Um, prior to that meeting, we had written 
and recorded already in, uh, a new album that we thought that this was probably going to be Sparks' next album, but when we got back from Cannes, we said, I wish to send it to Leos just out of curiosity and see if he has any thoughts, comments about it. And he responded saying, wow, this is something I'd like to think about potentially directing. And we said, oh, man, that's, that's, that would be amazing. So for the last four years, we've been working with Leos and uh, kind of adapting things uh, we wrote the story and all the music and all the dialogue is incorporated in the music. It's hopefully going to start being shot in the first part of next year. Good brother, bad brother. Well, the good brother obviously would be me, yeah. and the bad brother yeah. would be him. Okay. End Thanks. of story. <laughs> Even to this day, there are people, in particular in England, who say that that in that period, they, as a child, they were they were scared by my appearance on television, and you know, television in 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 the seventies in Britain, there were only really three stations and. And so everybody watched Top of the Pops, so uh, the bad brother, Evil Eye, was kind of uh, penetrating the uh, British consciousness at the time. Oh,